Welcome to Learn Create Sew. In today's skill building lesson, we're going to talk about how to gather fabric. There are several different techniques that you can use when gathering, but this one is my favorite for a couple reasons. First, we're going to be gathering using two rows of stitches. And because we're using two rows of stitches, it kind of gives you a safety net. If you accidentally pull too hard and one of your threads breaks, you don't necessarily have to start all the way over. I also really like this method because the two rows of stitches help the fabric in the gathered section stay a little flatter, which makes it easier to attach your gathered piece of fabric to something else. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to sew two rows of stitches along the top edge of our fabric. We're going to begin by sewing with a quarter inch seam allowance. You can also use 3 8 if you prefer, but I find that a quarter inch works best for me. You want to use a really long stitch length. This is usually the longest stitch length that's available on your machine. It can be anywhere from four to seven in length. Usually, the longer the stitch length, the easier it is to pull your gathers. So I'm going to be using a stitch length of 6.0, but you can use whatever the longest is on your sewing machine. And I'm gonna be sewing with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now, because we want our fabric to slide along those strings, we are not going to backstitch. If you backstitch, it creates a knot which prevents the fabric from moving, so we don't want to do that. So make sure that you do not backstitch and leave your thread tails really long, and that will help us in the end as well. So let's go ahead and sew that row of stitches. I've now sewn one row of stitches along the top edge of my fabric and you can see that my thread tails are quite long. I'm going to do the same thing again except for this time I'm going to use a larger seam allowance. I'm going to sew with a one half inch seam allowance. You want to be really accurate if you can. Uh, you don't want the rows of stitching to get too close together because if you do it can be really hard to slide your gathers later. So be as straight as possible and sew with a half inch seam allowance. Again, make sure you have the long stitch length on your machine and do not back stitch and keep those thread tails long. I've completed my gathering stitches and I'm ready to start creating the gathers. Again, you can notice that I've kept a nice even distance between my two rows of stitching. This will help make it easier when you pull your threads. To create the gathers, you need to find two strands of thread that are on the same side. I've used two different colors of thread on my stitches. I used yellow on the front of my fabric and blue on the back. This will help me to know which threads I need to pull. So if you're just beginning with gathering, that might not be a bad method to start with to help you pull the correct threads. So I'm going to turn to the back of the fabric and on one of the sides, I'm going to grab the two back threads. These will be the two blue threads. And sometimes it can get tricky to tell, especially if your threads are tangled and your fabric has a lot of strings as well. So I'm going to grab the two blue strands of thread here on the back of my fabric and I'm going to hold them in place. And rather than pulling the thread, I'm going to slide the fabric. So I'm holding the blue thread in place and I'm sliding the fabric down. And you can see how the fabric starts to gather. I like to do this half from one side and half from the other so that I don't accidentally slide the gathers off the fabric. So now I'm gonna to go to the other side of my piece and I'm once again going to grab just the blue threads. So I'm gonna use my purple thing here to help me separate those. So these are the two threads on the back and I'm going to hold these two threads securely and then slide my fabric down. And depending on how full or how subtle you want your gathers to appear, you can slide the fabric as much as you prefer. 
And you can see that we now have a nice gathered section in our fabric. And you can also see how this section is nice and flat, which helps when we're sewing it to something else. And there we have our gathers. And if you've gathered too far, you can just gently slide the fabric back out. And make a more subtle gathered edge. Gathering something small, like the previous sample I showed you, is usually pretty quick and simple. It usually comes together quite fast and we don't have to worry too much about getting our fabric to gather. When you're working with a larger piece of fabric, especially something that's going to be a garment, such as a skirt, and you have tons of fabric to deal with, it can be a little bit more challenging. So I've started this piece of fabric the exact same way. I've done my two rows of stitching with my long stitch length and I didn't back stitch. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start gathering this fabric. So I'm gonna identify the two threads on the back. Those are my blue threads here. And I'm going to hold on to those. I like to kind of wrap them around my finger. You don't wanna do it too tightly because you don't want to cut off your circulation, but just loosely around your fingers. And I like to hold this snug. And then we're going to slide the fabric down. So I'm just going to slide my fabric down to create my gathers. And what you'll notice happens is at some point it will stop sliding, especially if you're working with a thick fabric, something that is a heavier weight. So I'm sliding this and it won't go anymore. And a lot of times what our solution is, is to pull these threads harder. Um, and that's not the best thing to do because what happens is your threads will snap and then you have to start all over at the beginning. So when you're gathering something long like this and you're sliding your fabric and it stops moving, what you want to do is readjust your grip, make sure you're holding close to the edge of the fabric, and instead of sliding from here, gently slide from the edge that's farther away. So we were sliding from this end, but now we're gonna grab our fabric and slide it down this way. And you'll notice that the fabric over here moves a little bit easier. So those folds that I created at first, I'm moving down and I'm sliding them further along the threads. And once you do that, you'll notice that it opens up this section again, and you can now slide this again. So rather than pulling your threads, slide your fabric. This tends to be much more successful. And if it stops sliding, if it won't go, go to the end away from your grip and slide it down. But this is a very uh, gentle process. You shouldn't have to pull hard or anything like that, it should slide. If it's not sliding, it could be a couple things. Uh, you could have accidentally created a knot or backstitched. Your threads also could have gotten too close together, which could make it difficult to slide. So if yours is not moving, check those things. Also check to make sure you're holding the correct threads. So I've done about half of the fabric here, so I'm gonna go to the other side because I don't want them to slide off. And once again, I'm gonna find the two threads from the back. So these are my two bobbin threads that are blue. And I'm gonna hold just those two threads and I'm gonna slide the fabric towards the center. And once it won't slide anymore, I'm gonna readjust my grip. Again, I'm only holding those two threads and I'm gonna start away from where I'm holding and slide it to the center. I'm just taking those little pleats and gathers I made before and sliding them further down the thread, just very gently sliding it down. And now I've opened up this section here and I can now slide from the end just like before. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I have my fabric the desired length that I want it. So it could be super tight gathers, could be very gentle gathers, whichever you prefer, you just slide 
until you get the size that you want. And then if you notice that the gathers are not even, you can readjust and fiddle with it to get them in the right placement. So, and you can see now we have a very gathered section here. Looks like a little doll skirt or something. But just remember, when you are gathering your fabric, don't pull the threads, instead slide the fabric. You'll find that if you do that, you will have a lot fewer snapped threads and it just makes the process easier. I hope that this tutorial was helpful and that you're successful creating gathers of your own. We hope to see you back here at Learn Create Sew. Until next time, happy sewing.